Greetings viewers, your friendly neighborhood Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 when posting videos to this channel, and I start with a friendly, hey if it is your birthday, happy birthday. Enjoy this electronic cake. Today's topic, take pictures. <laughs> No, I don't mean when you're going on vacation, take pictures so that you can remember where you were. Don't take a selfie on the side of a cliff and fall off to your doom. Don't do that. I'm speaking specifically about my truck build, which you can see the freshly painted engine block behind me and the truck back further. That's how I framed the shot. I thought it was kind of nice. So I'm, I'm gonna share a little story with you on how taking pictures saved my bacon. Now, I've recommended to people in the past that if they're doing a big job, say an engine job or something like that, it's probably not a bad idea to take pictures along the way, sort of like little breadcrumbs that you can use as reference because nobody's perfect, nobody can absorb everything. Well, maybe some people can, but I can't. And I sometimes do this, not to mention I'm making video of the stuff that I do, which has been helpful in the past. I can go back, refer to the video and go, ah, that's where that goes. What I'm speaking about in this instance is uh, the truck. I ordered a new uh, accessory drive kit for the front. I'm getting rid of the old 1990s stuff and upgrading. In particular, I wanted to upgrade the AC compressor. I wasn't really fond of those old GM AC compressors. And uh, my new drive accessory thing came with that. Well, I went through an issue with the AC compressor already, which I'll reveal at a later date in another video. But in this particular instance, I'm speaking about the power steering pump. So the new accessory drive kit comes with power steering pump, water pump, and also an alternator. The power steering pump, after going through the stuff that I went through with the AC compressor, I'm saying to myself, self, you know, maybe it's a good idea that you go and check to see if uh, your high pressure power steering line from the truck can actually fit into the new power steering pump because they just make the accessory kit. They don't necessarily care about it being specific to your vehicle. There's a million details with things like this. I mean, builds like that, I, there's so many things. I could go on for days about the little bitty things that I had to do to, to, in order to make it happen, but you know what, I love it, I love this. I love overcoming the challenges and looking at it and say, ha, overcame that. Live through it. But this is about the power steering pump, which is a Saginaw pump, came on the truck originally. The new accessory drive kit also uses a Saginaw pump, but they made it all pretty and shiny. So I came in the next day and I took the new power steering pump and I took my old power steering line. This is the high pressure line. And I said, okay, well, why don't I try and screw this into the back of the new power steering pump just to be sure so that when I go to hook everything up, I'm not going, oh crap, I'm trying to start this engine and I can't because the power steering pump has no lines to it. <laughs> it needs fluid. And I found out, no, it did not fit. So I'm like, ah, oh, crap. So what I did was I took pictures of the back of my old power steering pump and I took a picture of the back of my new power steering pump and I went on the hunt. And I came up with this whole elaborate thing. I was like, oh, well, this is kind of cool. I found a fitting that can go into the new power steering pump that, go, that I can run into like a dash six fitting and I could run like steel braided lines into like a compression fitting and use actually part of like the old power steering line, you know, like cut it and put a compression fitting on it, and I'd be good to go. But I got to thinking about that and I said, you know, it's one thing for like fuel pressure and, and things like that to use a compression fitting because, you know, hey, it's 60 PSI and it's more than capable of handling that. But power steering, there's some pretty high pressures in power steering and it made me a bit nervous, especially that compression fitting part of my whole plan that I'd worked out inside my head. So I'm sitting there one night and this is what I've been doing. I, I take pictures of the build as I go and then at night I sort of like obsess over them <laughs> just before I fall asleep with just like flipping through, looking at things that I did, look, you know, seeing if, and, and it's, it's actually come in handy because I've looked at some of the stuff I did from a different perspective. I'm looking at the photograph going, ah, you know what? I didn't see that in the moment, but I see it now and I want to change it. Power steering pump, I'm flipping through, and I came across that and those pictures that I told you I took at the back of the power steering pump where the high pressure line goes into the back of them. And I'm looking at them and I'm flipping back and forth and I'm saying, hey, hey, wait a second here. On the back of a Saginaw pump, there is something that looks like a nut, <laughs> something that you can unscrew and screw something else in. And it makes perfect sense because that Saginaw pump is in a lot of different stuff and all they would have to do is change out said fitting and they could basically hook it up to anything they wanted to. Well, it turns out I was right. That was a nut. And I came in the next day and I removed it from the old power steering pump. I cleaned it all up and I was able to remove the one from the new power steering pump, swap them over and away I go. I can use the stock high pressure power steering line 
for my new power steering pump in the truck and I can hook up to the you know the steering box and all that everything's gonna be great <laughs> problem solved moving on to the next one but I solved it through like I said those pictures and I was just flipping through for whatever reason that didn't occur to me at the time you know there's a lot going on in my head not to mention the lack of sleep and everything else that goes along with this but I love the work not complaining just that's just facts that's just how it is but here I am like I said just going through the pictures and it saved my butt because it saved me from having to build that whole power steering setup that I was going to be nervous about and I'm just able to run a regular high pressure power steering line in fact I just ordered a new one I think it was like 30 bucks well, here we go <laughs> you got this really nice shiny part next to an old part and you go that ain't right so you, you, it's, it's, I've talked about this before <laughs> if you're going to build something you're going to spend money it's just how it is but that being said, uh, pictures saved my butt. And it wasn't just for reassembly, it was because I was able to see something that I wasn't able to see in the moment. And that was extremely helpful. And that's why I'm passing this information along to you. I try to be helpful whenever I can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my story, that it didn't take up too much of your time. How about you share with me some story that you might have come across similar, like maybe you were taking pictures and you learned something, or video, or whatever. Whatever, that's what comments are for. Please leave them down below. Uh, if you have automotive questions, I ask you head to ericthecarguy.com. That will be linked in the description. And that has tons of useful information for you. <laughs> Things that are related to this video, uh, stuff that I mentioned, maybe that, that accessory drive kit, stuff like that. I'll link those down in the description for you to check them out if you're interested. Aside from that, please comment, like, subscribe, and do those kinds of things that help me keep doing what I'm doing. I really like doing it, so thank you. And be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and I will see you next time. Next Monday, in fact, that's when ETCG1 videos come out. So if you have a birthday, make sure it's on a Monday. Just saying.